When NASA's space shuttle makes an early operational flight, a revolution in space communications will begin. Packed away in shuttle's big cargo hold will be a satellite called TDRS, Tracking and Data Relay Satellite, the first tracking station in orbit. Space Shuttle will deploy the satellite 150 miles above Earth. And a solid propellant rocket will boost TDRS into a geosynchronous orbit 22,300 miles above the equator. On reaching orbit, TDRS will deploy its solar array and two 16-foot parabolic antennae, unlimbering like giant metallic flowers in the intense sunlight. The tracking and data relay satellite is impressive in size alone. Built by TRW, it weighs about two and a half tons. The solar arrays span 57 feet from tip to tip. The solar panels will supply over 1,700 watts of electricity to power the complex electronics, combining with others in the system to relay 300 million bits of information each second between space and Earth. Every second of transmission is equal to 600 television pictures, 20 times as much information as is currently collected by a ground station. On subsequent flights, Shuttle will carry two more satellites, each a carbon copy of this first TDRS. They will be placed into geosynchronous orbits over the equator, and the TDRS system will be complete. There will be an eastern satellite over the Atlantic, a western satellite over the Pacific, and there will be a centrally located in-orbit spare. TDRSS will have its heart in the southwestern United States at White Sands, New Mexico. The White Sands facility is one of the largest and most complex Earth stations ever built. Here, signals from the TDRSS will be fed to NASA data processing centers, the Johnson Space Center at Houston, and to the Goddard Space Flight Center in Maryland. White Sands will be a super busy place with TDRSS in operation, many orbiting satellites will be in communication almost 100% of the time, compared to the relatively small window we now have on their activity. In addition, where one ground station previously handled only a few satellites or spacecraft at a time, TDRSS can communicate simultaneously with 26 Earth orbiting satellites. White Sands will also take command data from NASA for transmission to all satellites and spacecraft using the system. One of the prime users will be the Space Shuttle, tracked through all of its missions from launch to touchdown. The Landsat satellites, which have provided us with unprecedented data on Earth's resources, will now be able to send us their vital information through the data link with TDRSS. Crowning the space effort of the 80s, typified by shuttle and supported by TDRSS, will be the space telescope, reaching out ever closer to the edge of the universe, a billion light years away, viewing the stars as they were near the beginning of time. Space exploration is an ever maturing but never ending science. The tracking and data relay satellite system is about to take an essential part in that exploration.
We have main engine ignition. Four, three, two, one, zero, and liftoff. Liftoff of the Orbiter Challenger and the sixth flight of the space shuttle. The shuttle has cleared the tower. Challenger's under way with our program. Houston copies, Challenger. Seconds elapsed. Throttles on all three main engines coming down to 81%. Velocity 2,000 feet per second. Altitude three and a half miles. Downrange two miles. One minute elapsed. Main engine throttle is going back to 104%. Challenger is go at throttle up. Challenger, you're go at throttle up. Challenger, go at throttle up. Trajectory slightly depressed, no problem. Flight dynamics officer uh, reports. Challenger Houston, uh, we see you're, de you're slightly depressed, no problem. Okay, Dick. The date, June 29, 1983. The place, a control room at NASA's Goddard Space Center in Greenbelt, Maryland. The event, the rescue of a giant communication satellite nicknamed Tedris. More than $300 million worth of hardware that went off course. Three orbiting satellites, one over the Atlantic, one over the Pacific, and a spare, will provide almost continuous communications with 26 low-orbiting spacecraft, such as the Space Shuttle. Technicians have been working on an engineering miracle for weeks, firing tiny one-pound thruster rockets in a desperate attempt to move the two-and-a-half-ton satellite more than 8,000 miles into a correct orbit. Come on, all three of us. All together. One, two, three. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Navy burn. 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 <laughs> With that order, technicians trigger the final rocket burn nearly 23,000 miles away in space. 
As NASA engineers nervously check instruments, the final maneuver works. Plus five, 47, 48, burn, terminate. The miracle is achieved. The satellite is saved. It is, I think, an example for the world. It's certainly ex an example for the country that we are able to do this in full view of the world. We don't hide anything. We tell them exactly what we're going to do. We tell them about our troubles, and we let them know every stage of the way.